The United States has announced that the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet consisting of guided missile destroyers have conducted patrols in the Indian Exclusive Economic Zone without seeking any permission from India, and said that this move is in line with the international law. Top experts have described this move as unwarranted unnecessary and unprofessional, especially at a time when bilateral and military ties between India and US are at an all-time high, and the Quad Navies are currently conducting joint exercise in the East Indian Ocean region. The Indian Air Force has announced that the Air Chief flew a Su-30 fighter jet to witness its new capability enhancement and he also interacted with test crew of aircraft and systems testing establishment and engineers of Software Development Institute of the Indian Air Force. Under the capability enhancement, the aircraft and systems testing establishment has introduced some unspecified software enhancements to the Su-30, and this new software will remain relevant to future warfare. The DRDO has started assembly of two units of man portable anti-tank guided missile system, and chances are that it can be tested by the end of 2021. It has a range of 2.5 kilometers, and is equipped with an advanced imaging infrared sensor and integrated avionics. It also features top approach capability, and also shares many similarities with the American Javelin and Israeli spy KTGM. The DRDO has started integration of the 100 km range Barak 8 long range surface to air missile system on board INS Vikrant, that will also be supplemented with the 40 km range vertical launch short range surface to air missile in the next few years. The DRDO is also developing a 150 km range long range surface to air missile for the Indian Navy. And the combination of these different interceptors from a unified launcher will provide an optimal response on the future battlefield. Three state governments have concluded commercial talks with Kalashnikov, and they are all set to sign an agreement for the procurement of AK-103 rifles from Russia in May 2021, that will be delivered to the three state police forces and the paramilitary forces deployed in these states. They also informed that more state governments are expected to conclude agreement for AK-103 rifles in the next few months. Dassault Aviation has said that the company has implemented strict internal procedures to prevent corruption, and the government-to-government -government contract to supply 36 Rafale fighters to India went through numerous checks, and no violations were reported by the French Anti-Corruption Agency. Officials have confirmed that six more Rafale fighters will be delivered on 28 April, that will help to complete 1st Rafale squadron at the Ambala Air Base, while four more Rafale fighters will arrive in India in May 2021 to raise the 2nd Rafale squadron at Hasamara Air Base. India has paid over 50% of the payment for S-400 system to Russia, but Pakistani defense analysts have urged its military that Pakistan must purchase the S-400 air defense system from Russia if India backs away from the S-400 in pressure of American Katsa sanctions. Russian Foreign Minister has said that Russia is ready to supply Pakistan with special military equipment for counter operations, and has also agreed to conduct more army and navy joint exercises. Indian experts have said that India will be closely watching if the Russian president will also be visiting Pakistan during his upcoming trip to India.